What's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Red and Gold Standard Podcast. My name is Zach Hernandez, and as always, I am joined by my co-host, Matt Llewellyn. Matt, how you doing this Monday evening? Hey, you know, it's it's baseball season for me, so it's like one of my favorite times of year. Um, I'm doing good, Zach. Um, let's jump into this faux drama that's sweeping 49ers Twitter. Yeah, exactly. Uh, before we get into that, guys, if you're watching on Twitter, head over to YouTube.com slash 49ers Hive. Join there so we can see and interact with your comments. If you're commenting on Twitter, we're not ignoring you. We just cannot see anything. And yes, well, as Stuart says, hit like and subscribe while you're here. Help us grow the channel. We really appreciate it. Um, the show is titled, Will the 49ers Pay Debo Samuel? And I don't doubt that they will, Matt. However, it's kind of devolved into a little bit of these theatrics that we happen to see with some players on the brink Kyler of a Murray. very large, yes, Kyler Murray, on the brink of a very large contract. Recently, we saw Debo Samuel remove his picture of him in a 49ers uniform and then remove all traces of the 49ers from his Instagram account. Does that signal anything to you at all? It just signals the normal posturing that a player is going to do. Um, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Um, trends happen all the time, going viral, whatever, whatever. This is just more of the same. You know, this is somebody who goes, oh, well, maybe it worked for this guy. And he got a lot of pub for that. You know, Kyler Murray still waiting on his money, didn't get traded. So for me, it's it's a nothing issue, but it's something that Debo's doing because he thinks it's going to get him attention. And that's fine. Um, but, you know, the, the acting like the sky is falling and, and acting like, oh, well, now the 49ers are going to trade him or whatever. This is just a lot of people with too much time twiddling their thumbs and thinking about stuff way too hard and way too deep and just not realizing that this is just it's it's all posturing. It's all part of the game. Um, this happens in every sport. This happens with a lot of young players who want their contract. It takes different forms. The form that it's taking this year is scrub your Instagram as if that's like something the 49ers are even remotely worried about. I mean, I don't know if you guys know this, but. John Lynch, Kyle Shanahan, I don't really think that they're super involved with the whole Twitter, Instagram type of stuff. That's a player's thing, right? Um, what they're going to care about is what happens during OTAs and training camp and things like that. Let's remember, Debo Samuel's still under contract. So he's in the last year of his rookie deal. They're going to try to get something done, but it's going to be something that takes time. There's still the albatross of Jimmy Garoppolo hanging over them, and they're going to have to try to maneuver some of that. Not that that really affects Debo, because Debo, even with an extension, is still going to be on his rookie deal money this year. Um, it's just it's one of those things where it, it's much ado about nothing, and it's just, again, that boring time of season before we get into OTAs and offseason workouts and the drafts and all that stuff to kind of suck up some of that air that people are just, you know, they're just nothing to do with themselves, so. To me, it's it's not a big deal. Yeah, I thought it was funny. Um, I want to say it was late last week sometime. It kind of went, went off on Twitter. Debo unfollowed the 49ers. Oh, my God, this and that. And then people were like, did he follow them to begin with? Oh, actually, I don't know, but I know he's not following them right now. It's like this could have been a whole non-story. Um, is it weird if he didn't follow them? Probably, but – just because they play football doesn't mean that that's their entire lives. They're allowed right. to exist outside of that spectrum, and it's possible he never followed the 49ers to begin with. I don't know. I find it weird, but like you said, it's kind of par for the course. And I said it earlier when somebody tweeted at me um, once this happened, like, should we be concerned? And I'm like, I'm not concerned as of yet. It's kind of basically every single player we've seen expecting a large contract. This is kind of their one way to gain any sort of leverage they have because the teams and the owners still have like 98% of the leverage in these situations. Right. And the players are just doing any little bit they can to say, Hey, 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 here's what I want. You know, like, let me scream and, and be my own advocate because nobody else is going to be, you know, aside from their agent. Does it work? I don't know. I, I can't imagine it's good publicity. Maybe he's thinking any publicity is good publicity. Um, but He's trying it. Other people try it. Like you said, Kyler Murray it hasn't gotten him anything. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. It, listen, it's one of those things where it just, you know, you, you bring some type of attention to yourself. That's for sure. 
Is it the right kind? Do we now look at Debo as kind of maybe a little bit of a diva? Um, some people are certainly going to take it that direction. I think it's a guy trying to get his, but at the same time, it's already been stated from John Lynch that Debo is in the budget. Debo is going to get his. The 49ers are probably starting from a low ball position, and that's probably what motivated Debo to go out there and put the word out because he thinks that that's the way to go about it. But, I mean, at the end of the day, Fred Warner got an amazing contract for his position. George Kittle got an amazing contract for his position. You know, Kyle Juszczyk, highest paid fullback in the NFL. So these guys are getting their money, but they're getting their money in late summer, early like training camp, you know, July, August, that type of deal. Um, it takes time. The 49ers, I mean, you have to wait to see how the draft shakes out before you can, you know, because then that's that's where you're going to be able to cut cut a corner here, cut cut a guard there, cut a defensive end here or whatever. And that little amount of money adds up into what they can put into the Debo Samuel and Nick Bosa pot that gets those guys paid. So there needs to be a patience factor here. Again, Jimmy Garoppolo will come off the books. There are things to be done. There are moves to be made. You can have contract restructures that eat up the Jimmy Garoppolo space that make space for Debo and Nick next year. There are a lot of things that they can do. And I don't think that it's really beneficial for Debo to be impatient about this, particularly when the 49ers hold all the cards. They have his contract, right? They have, they have his rights. He's still under contract. There's still the franchise tag that they can hang on him if they really wanted to, to draw this out. So I would I would advise Debo to take some, you know, some caution and take a step back and let his agent work, um, especially at this early stage. It's April. I mean, there, there is time. Whether he gets the deal now or he gets the deal towards training camp. Um, it's how many games is he playing in between then? Yeah. Oh, zero. Okay. So it doesn't matter, right? It's not like it's not like the salary cap is changing. It's not like his value is going to change between then and, and you know, training camp or whatever. There's a lot that goes into this. And so he needs to have some level of patience with it. Deal with the process. It is a business. And this is how business is going to play out. So that's, you know, I think they're going to, I mean, and I'm with Stuart. He says, do you think they'll sign him long term? Yes. Am I worried with some of the stuff I'm hearing specifically from Miyoko who sounded really unsure today? Now, Miyoko's got stuff wrong, so we'll see. Everybody gets stuff wrong. And I don't think that any of the team, team, you know, people, the beat reporters or anything, know anything that's going on because this team doesn't leak. We we know this. So for me, it's they're gonna they're going to do their best to sign him long term. It's just a matter of time. <laughs>